I think of something pithy and quippy to put before we head into the please wait and the opening crawl and whatnot. But um, this time, I'm actually going to be trying to troubleshoot my Retron 5, which just decided to start acting super weird. So we'll see what we do today. <laughs> Good luck to all of us. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Fam Account Dojo Pile of Shame Live, where this week uh, we're going to play, hopefully, <laughs> uh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I know the cartridge was removed. Chrono Trigger uh, on Super Famicom with a uh, language patch on the Retron 5. Uh, good, good times. So if you were here last week, we ran into a little problem um, because the, uh, the castle where I'm hanging out at currently, there's supposed to be a, a fakey save state thing, um, save icon that I'm supposed to interact with. And, um, it, it's not working. So I got to go back. I got to go back to a save state on the cartridge itself to, to see if that's going to work. Um, so we'll we'll see how that works. Uh, uh, the the restaurant was acting weird too. On top of that, it decided that uh, it was going to import do an initial like import of the save like from the restaurant. I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what'll happen. So I had to reset it a few times, and it seems like it's fine now. But um... <clears throat> all right, hello. Uh, yeah, so I was doing that instead of alerting people um, on the Discord and whatnot that we are live. So let me do that real quick. Uh huh. Oh, I want to copy. I want to copy this though. Copy link and same bat time, same bat channel. That is right, Konacha. All right. Hey, at everyone. <clears throat> boy guys so yeah twitter twitter the thing that um popular popularized the at sign um for identities is uh it's, it's been a week it's been a couple of weeks actually boy now every time i see an at sign i feel a little sad um anyway uh so we've been playing chrono trigger for a while uh we fix the Masamune, we got the frog, we are at the Magus's castle, and now we're, I don't know, nothing's happening, so let's just uh, our, join us with our game already in progress. To the retro station! Shame! 
Oh, and of course, of course, as I say that, this this whole thing is, is happening. So uh, audio input is correct. Um, so I got to configure the video output and video input, man, I don't know. Video input and reset everything. I don't know why it, it monkeys with that. Every time I turn XSplit back on, every time one of the settings is goofed. It's so frustrating. Uh, not as frustrating, mind you, as um, the stream not working. <laughs> so there's that. Small mercies, I guess. <clears throat> uh, let me also let the let the tweeps know. Do, 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 do. We're live. Current status. All right. So uh, let's walk around. So there's this, there's this, um, there's this bat that's been following us around. I'm sure that means something, but I don't, I don't know what. Mm-hmm. So what? What the walkthroughs have all said is that there's supposed to be a fake save point uh, near the entrance to the castle, and. I haven't seen it. Do you guys see it? I don't see it. There's also there's also deliberately no sound in here, to my understanding. So now we're back out here. <clears throat> Do I go back through the cave and then that's where? I don't know. The magic cave. This calls for a beer. This is my uh, second to last pumpkin ale. I'm sure it's out of season now that it's uh, November, but I guess I could always look. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. I don't remember looking at that body before. I was probably talking and not really concentrating as I do. So speaking of distracting myself, who's been watching Star Trek Prodigy? It's been taking me a while to get into the show. Like, I've been watching every episode, and I'm like, oh, that's all right. But now, I don't know. Now I'm, 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 get, I'm getting more into it. The half, the half season break. I mean, first of all, I'm enjoying a Star Trek show that's gone longer than 10 episodes uh, for, for the season. So that's, that's something that's nice. I went to the right first. I went to the right first, and I got all the things out of the things. And it's just supposed to ignore this. That's not a real treasure chest that I can get into. And then these guys are all wandering around, and I can sort of talk to them. So I thought that maybe there's, like, a problem with the code. Um, and I was doing something wrong. Did I not go here before? I don't recall going all the way to the end before. Maybe that was my mistake, because I just didn't do this. I think I only went... Oh! This is Mom. Yeah, I think I only went as far as this before. So I missed something. Hmm. There it is. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad that I didn't have to go all the way back. So you, all right, all right. So if you watched last week, like I went to the right and then I went to the left and like this thing didn't appear. So I had to go all the way to the throne at the end. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's save this. Good gravy. Ozzy. 
freaking bat, dude. So if you didn't watch last week, this Ozzy here uh, turned Glenn into Mr. Frog. So that's fun for him. <clears throat> One hundred beasts. I don't know. Doesn't seem. Doesn't seem likely, you know. Sword stream. Oh, so there's there's a water and sword thing I can do. All right, he's down. What is haste? Cool. When did I get that spell? Ice water. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. We are powerful and we're low on life. Whoops. Let's let's fix that. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Not too bad for ten tonic. Hello, Satoshi. Oh, yeah. This. I'm sure this is fine. Here comes the sacrifice, you betcha. Uh, sword stream. Let's hit this guy. Hit him hard. Ow. Not hurt too much. Zero! Well, that's bad. Wait. Ice water. What? What? What's going on? Where's... Oh, it's her. Ice water. There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> That'll do it. Okay, so he takes physical damage. Is there any combos I can do with oh, X Strike? It seems promising. Yeah. Haste. Whoa! All right. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Yeah, that's true. The only one would do that. Uh, Wisconsin could be worse. Talking about the election right now, so I don't know the 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 really big things that I was worried about didn't come to pass. Um, although our one of the one of the house seats did flip, um, you know. It, it could have been a lot different, let's just say. Wisconsin's a weird state. Like, uh, the same, you know, in two statewide races, uh, people split their, uh, split their ticket. 
and it just is what it is. Uh, X strike. I still like to think with like, oh, it was like 5% and then all the absentee battles and stuff that Barnes can make up 30,000 votes. Probably not very likely. So I think he did the right thing to concede. Please help, relieve us of this misery. <clears throat> I don't know if the Federman thing was a surprise or not. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting two years in this country, no matter where things land. Um, a razor-thin control of the house, as people have been pointing out on Twitter and elsewhere, um, uh, can make things very difficult, no matter who holds it, because um, illnesses or death, people resigning, could, could change control. If that happens, like, during the course of the year, they're going to have to switch everything over. And then it could just switch back. So, <clears throat> I mean, that could have happened in the Senate uh, this last, these last two years and just, and just didn't. That friggin' bat, dude. I gotta, I, I, I gotta ask though, like how, how you, how closely you've paid attention to like American politics and like the nitty gritty of, uh, um, like Senate elections and stuff. Like I, I couldn't tell you much about uh, the Canadian government. Uh, all I know is that. Uh, people in Ontario that I know hate Ford is Ontario, right? I can't remember. See, even it just goes to people. And like you know, beyond what's happened with the Prime Minister of the UK, I couldn't tell you much about their politics either. Huh. All I know about, ooh. Now all I know about the UK is that the lettuce lasted longer. <laughs> That's all I know. It seems like you know more than the broad strokes. I'm just saying. It seems like you you know more than I would. Alright, I'm gonna heal up everyone. Oops. I'm gonna do, uh, do an aura whirl. So yeah, uh, Prodigy, man. <clears throat> uh, for those who don't know, we got, uh, we got uh, Hologram Janeway and now Vice Admiral Janeway. <clears throat> so that's interesting. Is the Vice Admiral higher in rank than a Rear Admiral? Man, I don't know. I just had a weird thought, like, you know, man, I can't believe they got Kate Mulgrew to come for this season. Get to business.
Yeah, I dare to oppose you. You stink. You're terrible. Ooh, that wasn't great. Let's uh, do another aura world, shall we? So I got a, got a birthday coming up this weekend for um, one of my kids, so I'm not a uh, birthday party, I should say, coming up, so that's why I'm not streaming on Friday. But uh, I can't do an X strike. Can't do an ice water with that, what's her face? We're running out of MP. Oh, yeah, is it just attacking? I guess just physical attacks on these guys. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, I see. He's lined up like that so that he can attack us indi uh, individually. A little frog. One more in me before I have to resort to uh, <clears throat> tonic, not ton tonics, not tonics, ethers. Ooh, a frog is getting beat. Uh, he's gonna be nine. some uh, tonics up in here. Actually, I probably need a mid-tonic. Let's use one of those. And then uh, get, an, get an ether. Mid-ether seems like a better idea. Ow. I like him at this point, though, where it's like, oh, 50, that's no big deal. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, frog needed it. Oh well, that's fine. And then I'll do one more aura whirl. I hope he has a wonderful birthday too. Uh, kids were not feeling well earlier in the week, <clears throat> and neither were their cousins, so. Hopefully everyone's over it. Uh, not cold, but we, we tested for that. But. Ooh. Ooh, ouch. He must be close to dead if he's on out these kinds of attacks. Right? Yeah, he's just trying to kill Frog. I do not... I do not appreciate that. Oh! I don't know about that. Strike. There we go. How much X MP, MP, HP does this guy have?
Yeah, relatively stress-free. We'll see how that goes. I'll take. I'll be taking some time off as well. Ooh, ooh. Or, uh, so. Here we go. Yes, indeed. That's just rude. Holy crow! Wowza! Alright, I'm gonna have to heal up. Tonic. Ugh. Oh, jeepers. Uh, yeah, the, I didn't see on the Discord, but I saw on Twitter about the the Star Fox thing because I guess one of the, one of the developers, or the lead developer, or someone on Twitter, uh, retweeted it because they're like, yeah, we actually had to get this game done in ten months. And I'm sure that there were a lot of uh, improvements that could be made. So, okay, got a slasher. I'm gonna save this. Oh, I got a, I got a real save. Well, good, because that was rough. Let's just avoid all that shit. 100, huh? Ha! <laughs> a likely story. Kids around the thing I'm gonna make sure are weird still. Ah, boo. Zone. I don't like the sound of that. Ooh, not great. Could be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to wait for a colonel here to. Ow. Or a world. Um. If you haven't watched this week's episode of Prodigy, I, I, I recommend it. It was a it was a nice fun one. Um, bit bit tongue in cheek. Uh, you wouldn't know, but they had like a lot of guest voices as well. Should I fight this guy too? As roadkill. Oh, bummer. Uh, I should use the do the ice water again, huh? <clears throat> Oops. Oh, I can do it from here. I didn't. I didn't even check to see how many M, uh, MP that takes. Oh, it healed them. Whoopsies.
Frog leveled up. Nice, nice. Oh, I should, uh... Item. What else is going on in the world? The Twitter thing. Uh... I know how some people feel about it, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, there, there apparently really is resentment toward people with blue check marks next to their names. And I think it's all weird and misplaced and misguided. Because the reason that they have it is because... Uh, people on Twitter like to pretend to be other people. And especially before people joined Twitter, they would they would impersonate uh, actual people and like to, to get to get followers. So like that's just, that's just like the history of how this whole thing came to be. So so Twitter would actually take the trouble of verifying people's identities, right? And that's and that's all that means. That's 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 it. Like anything else beyond that, like other people have sort of conferred upon it. Uh, so, like, if you had the check mark, it's because um, people thought enough of you and your reputation that it was worth impersonating, and it was important that that person. Whatever. So this isn't something like the people that, that typically got them even sought in a lot of cases, right? So, so, so there are people who are upset about this, and are we're deliberately looking for a way to dilute its meaning, which is exactly what's happening, and it's pointless. <laughs> like, I don't think the people who like who like want anyone to be able to buy in to a blue check mark. They don't want it for themselves, right? They just want the people who have them now to have to pay for them. That's that. It's all about inflicting harm on them. That's the entire reason. The only reason they would want it for themselves is to be able to impersonate people, and that's what's happening now that people are doing that. They're doing it. A lot of them are doing it to prove the point that this whole thing is stupid and pointless. But, I don't know, I'm starting to think that the decision to, 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 to that this is, this is the point. It's to harm the brand identity, which is a weird thing for the brand new owner to do, but you gotta think about what his motivations are. Because nothing about it makes sense. Originally, they announced that people were going to have two check marks. They were going to have like a, and we saw it for a little while on on Wednesday, where where uh, there was an official check mark. Um, oh, he sucked out my health. I don't think I beat him, did I? Yeah, it seems too easy. <clears throat> there we go. He was with us the whole time. What? Oh. <laughs> power is beautiful and I've got the power. Um so a handful of people were, were, were getting this other check mark, and it was just like a UI design disaster. It was so stupid. Um, and it only took a few hours for it to get completely rolled back. Um, but people can buy the blue check marks now, and you have to click on them to see if it's conferred because they purchased it or because uh, they were had to be given it to a prior. And I guess they have three months to decide if they're going to pay or get taken away. And people are just like, fine, take it, I don't care. So 
it's 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 just weird the, how gleeful some people are about this. It it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. Like It's like a, a, a battle that only they're fighting. It's like a com completely like one-sided aggression, and it's so weird and pointless. So I don't know if Twitter's gonna exist by the end of next year, or or what. And if it's gone, it's gone, and there'll, there'll be something else. But I mean, I gotta I gotta say, it's weird that the last thing I do on Twitter is doom scrolling its own demise. <laughs> <sighs> or appropriate, I should say. Oh, he's blinded? Is that what that means? I should probably use Aura World pretty soon, huh? Oh, shoot. Is she going to be dead and or asleep? Confused again? Oh, she just. Now this character reminds me of Taco from the Adventure Zone. <clears throat> Does anyone still listen to the Adventure Zone? I have lost track of how many campaigns they've gone through now, but they're on a new one now. And I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying most of them. I've been listening to all of them. Um, but uh, I gotta say, none has been quite as powerful and impressive as the original. And I think part of the reason they can't reach that level again is because they're, they're aware of it and they're trying. Like, the whole thing was an accident, it feels like. And I'm pretty sure if it weren't for Griffin, sort of hijacking the story as the, as, as the GM, it wouldn't have happened the way that it did. But I also completely understand uh, if there was um, a sort of faux pas breach of trust that occurred to make that happen. I don't know if, if there was or wasn't. If, as far as I know, they've never, they've never spoken about it in those terms, so. Oof. Uh, Froggy might be dead. Almost. She's a 
asleep now. She's asleep. Frog's confused or blinded. Blinded, I guess. Something's wrong with Chrono now. I don't, I don't know. Man. Uh. Sleep. Can I wake her up? Do I have anything to do that with? Ah, oh, now they're both asleep. Oh, he's still blinded. Good lord! Sleep again? Uh, there, I think I, did I cure his blindness finally? I wish I could use Aura World, huh? Oh, that was that was the last blow. Marlo leveled up this time. Great. How can this be? I'll tell you how. I'm amazing. That's how. All right. No save here. That's fine. I got my own. Something sparkling here. Magic tab. Who needs it the most? Great question. Why do you ask? Ugh. So yeah, since a lot of TV uh, is finished for the year, um, I haven't been watching a whole lot. You know, mostly like YouTube videos, playing games. Well, I guess, I guess, uh, thanks to House of the Dragon, um, I looked for and finally found um, my copy of A World of Ice and Fire. Uh, and then I read the, the relevant passages uh, to the history of uh, House of the Dragon, and then to its events, and then uh, the events it's yet to cover, um, which is not most of the book, but still a considerable section of it. Um, but I placed uh, on the library on hold 
uh, Fire and Blood, which is an expansion on that section of the, of, of the world of Ice and Fire, to the point that, like, apparently the first chapter uh, is, like, word for word one of the sections of Aegon's Conquest right out of uh, A World of Ice and Fire. But it's 700 pages long, so it, uh, it goes into a lot more detail about um, all the events that the World of Ice and Fire only summarizes. Um, so that's, I like that. It's, uh, yeah, I want your treasure. Yeah, I'll play with you guys, why not? I need magic. Ugh. Oh, is she out? She's not out. Why? Cure. Oh! I don't need heal. Mm. Try some ice water and see how that goes. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, the history spans, I don't know how much you guys know about Game of Thrones, but, um, like the, Tar the Targaryen dynasty had ruled, um, up until about 20 years or so before the, the events of the first episode in, in, in the first book of Game of Thrones. No, oh, that's not confusing at all. <clears throat> um, so this, the story of House of the Dragon takes place about 170 years before that, um, when the Targaryens at the height of their power, because by by the time of Game of Thrones, their mind had been almost vanquished, and there's, you know, one character, Daenerys, uh, who's the, the last known living descendant of, of Aerys II, the Mad King. Um, and no one likes the Targaryens very much anymore. My sword. So, this is when uh, there was basically like a War of the Roses type situation where there were two factions of the family vying for the throne, which is an oversimplification of the War of the Roses, but it's, it's a similar idea, but with dragons also. So that's, that's what the story of House of the Dragon is, is focusing on. But um, these books also focus on the first Targaryen king to have come to Westeros uh, about 300 years before Game of Thrones starts. So that's like half of this, like 300 and some odd pages of this book is, is covering that history, which I'm interested enough in to read before I get to the part that I really wanted to, to look at. Because um, there are some interesting changes and then, uh, unlike the Game of Thrones series, which would have taken forever, like, why is he writing this instead of uh, the last the last two Song of Ice and Fire books? Um, it's, like, all background, right? And it's written instead of, like, from a character perspective and a lot of prose and symbolism that he likes to put into his books. Um, it's written from the perspective of, of a historian in the universe that Martin himself has only transcribed for our benefit. Very, uh, very Princess Bride of him to, to do. But... Oh, I'm gonna need a uh, mid-tonic. So, so... Because of that, there's a lot of time and material that it covers. Um, for one thing, very loosely, but also because it's not a, like a lot of dialogue and scene setting um, and like internal monologue, that gives the TV show um, 
a lot of uh, leeway in how it presents these events as they actually happened. So they can write the dialogue, they can write the scene settings, they can, they, they can take uh, the words of a potentially unreliable narrator, basically, and like tweak them a little bit or can turn them on their head completely. Like, cause they don't, these are people writing about it after the fact. They don't actually know what happened. They just piece it together from known eyewitness accounts and, and things like that. So, so we, can, we can sort of take for granted whatever we see in the show as how it really happened. And that also sort of diverts criticisms that they're not following the source material closely or correctly enough. Because there's just so much in a novel you just can't display on a TV show correctly either either for narrative constraints or because it's converting it's like a visual and audio medium and you can't be in a character's head uh, so totally the whole time. Um, or they're just things that they wanted to change because they wanted to change them. So so this this gives them an out basically and they can kind of tell their own story, which isn't, isn't to put them above criticism because I think that they made some decisions I, I, I wouldn't, I, I'd rather that they, they hadn't made. Um, but uh, one of the big changes I noticed so far, and this is like the intro to the first episode, so it's not supposed to be any kind of surprise, but the, the choice of succession, which in part leads to this, uh, um, War of the Roses type division later on, is the question of who should succeed King Jaehaerys, the first who reigned for 60 years and had no living immediate descendants, so had to go to one of his grandkids. Uh, now the show depicts it as between a woman and a man who are cousins to each, first cousins to each other, and then they went with they went with the guy, which as far as like the narrative thrust of the TV show goes, and like the importance of that character who was passed over, I think works really well. Uh, in the books. Um, apparently the question was between her and her son uh, and the reason the reason being not her directly is because she was sort of already passed over as the heir apparent uh, once um, because uh, she Rhaenys was not made the princess of Dragonstone which, uh, for a real, a real world parallel, like the Prince of Wales in, in the UK is the heir apparent to, to the throne, and that's what um, Charles was before he became king recently. Uh, so Rhaenys didn't get Dragonstone, and it went to Viserys, her, her cousin, and then um, he became the king, and there was no prince or princess of Dragonstone uh, in, in all that time um, until later, until he, he names his daughter. Uh, sort of re rehashing, redoing um, the, the problem in the first place. So, there we go, should be enough. I'm gonna save it right here too. So, um, <clears throat> so, so the question in the book, uh, the books, both of them, it, it, it appears, I, I did read a little bit of the, of the initial chapters, uh, of the relevant chapters to the show, um, was that since Rhaenys has already passed over, she wasn't considered in the line of succession at all at this great council, and it was her firstborn son, Laenor, uh, between him and Viserys. And so the question then became, like, can a man, or can a woman inherit the throne? No, they've already answered that. And then, But then also, can a man inherit the throne through his mother? Also no. Um, so I think that was meant in the book to set up how much more offensive? Is that the right word? Unexpected. That's probably extreme. Somewhere in the middle there. Um, how Viserys had gone against the will of the realm. You know, because, because sexism. 
Um, like in the TV show, you can see very much how Rainey's uh, would have been a pretty flipping awesome queen, but her line had some problems. And problems just in the sense of how primogeniture works and uh, monarchies work. Uh, it's only a problem if you care about those systems being being in place. Oh, I didn't I didn't equip my sword. Slasha, I hardly know her. Oh, I can actually unequip the Masamune. Oh, I can't use it though. Fascinating. So only Frog can use the Masamune. All right, I love with that. Anything from Marla? No. Oh, Mistro. Works. Okay. Um. So so like, even if um. Oh, jeepers! So even if Rainey's had had been named queen, her line would have had problems. Uh, down the line. <laughs> um, re re regardless. Um, and then Rhaenyra has problems of her own. Uh, so the least troubling thing, the magic defense goes up. Nice. So, you know, the real villain of the story, uh, much like in Game of Thrones, is the monarchy. <laughs> and uh, all right, I'm gonna time this. Go. Ow! Uh, the monarchy and the patriarchy, basically. Which, if you don't get that from reading Martin's work, I don't know what else to tell you. It's all flipping there. Anybody threw eggs at, at who? Sorry, which which her? <clears throat> Doomfinger. It's a Doomfinger. weapon. Oh, only data can use it. Apparently I have the wrong person in my party. I guess I could swap them out right now if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I like Marla. Oh, more stuff in the castle. Can I, oh, uh, what if I could fall? Oh, someone threw eggs at Charles? Yeah. Poor guy can't get a break. Yeah, season five of The Crown is airing this month. And I don't know how I feel about watching that now. They've changed the actors again. Um, although I guess they've had the same ones for the last two seasons. I can't remember. So I think season six is the last season. So everyone ages up relatively. But I guess they've jumped about a decade since the previous season. I, 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 know, I thought we had one more year with, the, with with this version of the of the characters, but maybe I don't remember how much or what of season three actually covered. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, but if it's the '90s, we're gonna deal with Diana and probably her death. 
and we're going to see how much of a just utter dink Charles was. But on the other hand, uh, I mean, that his actions aside, like watching the crown really gives you an idea of how the monarchy just hurts everyone in it, uh, right? Like people can't be free to be themselves. Like the man, uh, I forgot his name already, the, the one who abdicated the throne uh, to make Elizabeth's father the king, um, you know, ostensibly abdicated because he wanted to marry for love, uh, ended up being a Nazi sympathizer. So, bullet dodged, I guess. But, you know, if he could have just been a dink in his own right, you know, um, Elizabeth's marriage initially seemed good enough, um, but, you know, the, the, she, she, and, um, I forgot her husband's name. How embarrassing for me. Uh, <laughs> Philip. Philip was certainly a character, um, you know, but like for tradition and duty and stuff, they have to stay together and come to an understanding, basically. Um, Princess Anne couldn't marry the, the person that she wanted to, although she kind of does anyway, but it's like a big deal. Uh, Charles and Camilla, like, you know, I, I knew that that marrying was this huge deal, but I didn't realize how far back it went until I watched this show. And like the crap Diana had to go through because she wasn't Camilla. It makes you feel bad, you know. So I don't really know if I want to watch it, because it's like uh, I've heard enough. It feels it feels very voyeuristic. I mean, it, it always did, but man, I don't know. So again, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to think. Basically, the monarchy hurts everybody. It hurts them in real life. It hurts them in this fictional world of Westeros. It just sucks. Well, that's an actual save point. Um, yeah. What else? What else we got? What else can we talk about? Um. Not a lot of TV, like I said. Here we go. Okay. Gotcha. Ah. Uh. The princess died when I was a kid. It was something that my mother literally sobbed over. Same. 
people really liked Diana, even if they weren't British. <laughs> It's it, it's weird because they, they like saw her as like some kind of underdog, I guess. Which she was still like noble, right? Like she was still I don't I don't know, but she she wasn't keen on the trappings, right? Like you watch, you watch The Crown and you get this idea of like how much these people have to stuff their own humanity to be a symbol to the, to the country. I almost said realm, which is a Game of Thrones term. Now, I was 17, I think, when she died. So, so I knew a bit more, but not a ton. I certainly didn't know any of the, a, a lot of this background until a lot more recently. But um, yeah, so so Diana was less interested in that and uh, was kind of seen as a way to help pull the monarchy into the 20th century, even though the 20th century was almost over. Um, yeah. Ah! This stinks! And people just liked her. Yeah. I, I think that's fair. That's, that's really all there is to it. It kind of shows like what a crapshoot it is, right? To get a monarch or even someone like adjacent to them that people liked. Like people liked Elizabeth too. And there are people who are really upset when she died, uh, despite, you know, what she represented to people all, all over the world um, in, in some not positive ways. Ugh! I knew that was too easy. Okay, someone's gotta be down here. Then. This seems to be a pattern, right? Like the ones that can attack me are on opposite sides of each other, and then there's the real save point, and then there's the fakey one. And so I can tell where I'm going pretty quickly. Urgh! Erg indeed. Hey, how's it going, Rachel? Oh my, uh, I don't want to fight anymore. Freaking Magus in his castle. Multiple counterattack technique. I don't like the sound of that. Good lord. So. That, that's all to say. I don't, I don't think much of Charles. Uh, whether he's his 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 dickishness justified or not. You got a date? Sweet. Have fun on your date. Good thing I, I'm streaming tonight, huh? Or you have to like bring your date to the stream. I'm just kidding. Uh, that would be a terrible date. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, it's like a Voltorb or whatever. Lightning 2, what the sound of that? Oh, uh, I don't know why that reminded me all of a sudden, but I have been watching, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier too, uh, last week maybe, but I have been watching 
uh, Cobra Kai again. Uh, I'm on near the end of season two, so we're going to be talking about uh, some Cobra Kai for Two Boobs Watch the Tube, because uh, now it's on its fifth season. And once I get done with the second season, I guess they can jump back into the into the fifth. There were a lot of things I forgot from the first season, actually, like especially like when certain characters showed up, because there are ones that. Um... Wow, that's some good lightning. Holy crap! <laughs> ah, don't be nervous. Have fun. What are you, what are you, what are you guys doing? Yeah, don't be nervous. I haven't had a date in a while, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, how is how how is the Batman animated series? How does that hold up? I probably haven't watched much of it in 30 years. So Ugh. load up again. I have used so many tonics, and part of it is because I have so much more health than I used to, but also, man, we are just getting beat up. There'd be left. Oof. Yeah, I, uh, hmm. He really loves his pulleys, doesn't he? <clears throat> yeah. I remember the Harvey Dent stuff. Oh my gosh, that really hurt them. Wowza. I remember some of the Harvey Dent stuff being kind of, well, good, but such a good show, as I recall, anyway. Once again, do the same thing. Oh yeah, Clayface. I mean, that, that was some, that was some like Robocop level stuff. <laughs> I swear, it was like Robocop on network television or something. I I saw it at a pretty young age, like well after it had it had been in theaters. But it was like on network TV or something. Maybe it was cable. Like it, it, that's probably more likely. But I was able to watch it on TV. And like, it was gruesome, you guys. Like, I, mega violence, I flipped out. Did not need to see that. Like, it's still, it's still stomach turning and gruesome if you watch it today. And I, I feel like the remake doesn't doesn't do it justice, right? Like the the, the 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 sheer and utter cruelty of what happened to him. Because it wasn't just someone being mean and cruel for the heck of it, which certainly they found people who were happy to do that, but the the, the fact that he was targeted like by the system he's supposed to uphold and protect like they need an, ex an excuse to find somebody to become robocop and they did it in the most awful 
way possible because it will make a good story, <laughs> basically. Um, so, so if you, the, 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 the remake takes, the, first of all, it's PG-13, so they can't get that gruesome. Um, like, this is almost NC-17, like, levels of gruesome. Probably would be today, honestly. I'm not really sure. But, uh, it, ah, uh, because the, 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 the moment that got me of the new, of the new film, so, the way it becomes Robocop is much more instantaneous and somewhat off camera. Um, but there's still a really awful body horror moment when he gets to see how little of himself, of his humanity, physical humanity is left. Like, you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. You know, it's like Anakin Skywalker levels of, oh God, and then you see like as more pieces of his robot exoskeleton are taken away that it's like, oh no, there is like, there is like nothing left of him. Terrifying. Yeah, the, oh, the Android Batman thing, I didn't remember or, or realize that. That's pretty, that's pretty scary. Um, in comparison, there's that, there's that paper dipper from, the, the many paper dippers actually from uh, uh, Gravity Falls. And like the way that they're dispatched could have been really like weird, existentially bad and gruesome, um, but they don't seem too bothered by it. And the way that the last, the last uh, Dipper copy uh, bites it is, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> silly, silly and funny. It's a complete accident. It's, it's just weird. All right. Let's see if I can make it through without many resources left. Ooh, 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 ooh. Magic scarf. Okay. Mist robe. You can wear a mist robe. Two mist robes. I don't know, I think that's fine. Let's just go. Let's just do this. <clears throat> well, it's good to hear that, that the Batman animated series still holds up. I got real... I got real... frustrated when it became like the Batman and Robin show or whatever they ended up calling it. Uh, not... I don't know. Pointlessly, maybe. Oh, I can attack the chains? Well, that's good to know. Ouch. Oh. New Adventures of Batman and Robin, 1940 and 1992 at the same time. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Uh, what I do like about it was the art style, right? Like they, they they did they did colors on black paper, which just helped the aesthetic so much, so good. Like in in today's era of like digital 
artwork, I don't know if you could if you could get the same effect, really. Nice. I'm gonna save it though. Uh... Uh, let's save this here. Defeated Ozzy. Okay. Am I just streaming at the wrong time of day? That that must be. People probably aren't off work and stuff. I'm I'm constrained by my children's bedtime, um, so that's why I do it when I do it. But if I could start at this time and go for a couple of hours every night, not every night, but every time I do it, then I, I would because uh, some people seem to actually be free. But. Cause I, I gotta stop pretty soon, un unfortunately. Yeah, I can see Batman the Animated Series being close to breaking standards and practices. Mega Zima Zebra Zom. Now the chosen time has come. Exchange this world for. I'm super glad I didn't have to like run all that stuff back, you guys. Uh, if I had to, if I had to do that, I wouldn't have been able to get, get to this fight. See what this guy is. Uh, why can't I? Uh, oh, because he doesn't have enough uh, MP. Only lightning damages. Frog down? Almost. Oh, I gave it to the wrong person! Ah! here and then let's do uh, an aura whirl and then bring down his defense even more if I can another attack here 84 
increases magic defense, guys are HP down. Ooh, it's us. We're the ones with the HP down. Alright, so let's do uh ice water. And lightning. Oh yeah, I bet it looks great in HD. Did I use lightning too? I did. Oof! Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh wow. Let's do ice sword. Oh, I healed him. Ugh. Only fire damages. Uh well that's bad because I don't have fire. What does Lapis do? Hearts and butts. She's gonna...
Oh, can he heal too? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, heal. Oh, it is an actual heal spell. Well, I mean, I, I can get rid of Marla then. Maybe I should do this fight again a different way. I'm just so used to using... Uh, all right, it's gonna probably heal him, but I gotta try it. Yep, shoot. Only water, perfect. Am I overdoing it with the lightning? Like, should I just use lightning one on him? I don't think it's the final boss. I still have to fight Lavos. Um. Oh, we're almost dead. Oh boy, Frog and Marla are done for. Let me just Frog. Um. And then Frog can heal us all, right? Right. Frog is going down again. Oh no, maybe Marla. Is she gonna make it? Oh, barely. <clears throat> so close to death. Maybe I do need to keep her in my party though, because the aura whirl is the only thing that feels like it's saving me right now. So sorry, what can hurt him right now? Is it water? Sword stream. Well, oh, it's shadow, isn't it? Shoot. Now water damages. Oh, I see. Every time I attack him, the barrier changes. I didn't even realize that. So if I want to keep the barrier going, I don't use Marla to attack ever. Unless she has the... The power I'm going for. Um, so I do want it to change, though I attack him. Shoot! Marla goes down. I'm on tonics. Okay, good. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, frog. Ugh. Oh, it didn't hurt him.
All right, so can't do lightning two because I don't have enough. But maybe lightning two is overdoing it. Yeah, it is overdoing it. Jeepers. Did the barrier just change? Oh, come on! Oh shoot, he changed his barrier. All right, now. All right, so frog. Ow. Frog attack. And then chrono, use lightning. Marla, don't die. <laughs> Frog, you heal us. Oops. What was that? And Chrono, Lightning. Shoot, what did I do? Dark matter. Oh, this seems bad. Oh, nice use of the polygonal. Oh! Yikes! To attack. I didn't mean to do attack. God. <coughs> okay, and then frog attacks, and then I use lightning. Then uh, 
Rock attacks. I'm gonna do lightning. And I don't know, I guess you do mid ether. Attacks and do lightning. Attacks. Um, a whirl. Am I supposed to have Robo? Oh boy. Dog attacks. Chrono. Lightnings. He still has 3,000 left? Uh, oh my god, did I do it? Oh. I like how Frog didn't level up. I think he's the highest level one of all of us, though. Has created oh boy oh thank god because I'm not ready to fight another huge battle after all of this Did I create a time paradox, or what happened here? Oh, God. This is how the game started, by the way, for those who don't remember. It's been three months, after all. It's Marla. Wait, what? What? This is this is some like last episode of Evangelion type stuff here. More talking for the love of Pete. I need to stop. All 
right, this is a good place to stop. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us um, on this Famicom Dojo Pile of Shame Live. Uh, we got to go through our stuff real quick. Um, if you want to support us uh, to make more awesome content like this and our pre-recorded videos and our podcast, Famicom Dojo, the video game podcast, and Two Boobs Watch the Tube, then head over to patreon.com slash Famicom Dojo, uh, where you can uh, support us for as little as a dollar a month, which is better than an ad, as we always like to say. And for the month of November, our Dojo disciples at the highest tier are Andrew Greeley, Daniel Hathcock, and Ogre at the third, our... Um, our you might get a t-shirt tier is Butler, Jody A. Cornelius, Keith Robinson, Lena Blue, um, Peter Burrell, and Rachel Moser. Thank you all so very much. If you are not subscribed to this channel now as you're watching to it, hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video. Leave a comment after it's over about what you want to see next. Because I've been playing this game almost every week for three months straight. So uh, there's more stuff. I have A Boy in This Blob, Marble Madness, uh, The Legend of Kage, Bad Dudes, Blaster Master. I actually have this on the Switch too, I think, or somewhere. Uh, Skater Die Two, <laughs> um, Code Name Viper. I don't, I don't know. This is just all games. There's, there's a ton of things that we can do together, guys. I, I want to finish this one though. I think like we're so close. But like anything else uh, that you want to do, um, yeah. Uh, good times. And until next time, then I guess uh, the dojo is uh, the wishing all y'all a happy Veterans Day. Babacom Dojo.